Hey guys, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a quick update on my uh, B52, my DCXL, and my UK Sawtooth 2. You can kind of check them all out right here. Uh, thanks so much for being here guys. I just wanted to give you a quick update on these plants, show you how they're doing. Uh, these guys have been kept completely outside uh, night and day uh, for the last couple months. So I just kind of want to show you what they look like uh, based on uh, when I got them from the first time. Um, a few months ago and what they look like now. So go ahead and uh, real quick before we jump into looking at these plants, let's show you what these guys look like uh, when I receive them. Alright, so as you can see, uh, they, they've been doing a pretty good job, uh, growing quite a bit. We'll start with the B52 here. Um, I was going to do these individually, but I decided to go ahead and just do these uh, all three at the same time. Um, I've already actually given you guys an update on the Sawtooth, um, but it's continuing to grow so much I just figured I'd throw it in here with these guys uh, while I was updating you on them. But um, So here's the B52. Uh, you can see there's a significant more uh, traps. The traps are actually really good sized. Uh, although they're not quite um, as big as they will be once this plant is fully grown, you can see that it's still a pretty young plant. Um, but we do have a lot of traps on here, and you can see that the, the growth is pretty good, and we got some new growth coming in down there, you can see. Um, but I think the most important thing is that it's just a really healthy looking plant, uh, really green, it's got nice color in the traps. Um, we have uh, had a little bit less sun. Uh, it's been really hot, but we've got a lot of smoke in the air from a lot of the wildfires, so the sun hasn't been as intense uh, as it normally is, so that could be contributing to why there's not quite as much of the red uh, inside the traps. They just haven't been exposed to, to quite as much light. But uh, So let's take a look at the DCXL here. Uh, so yeah, so you can see this one is actually doing really good. The traps on this one are just a little bit smaller than the B52, but the, the traps are a little more green and they actually have a little more red on the inside, so uh, the coloration is actually a little bit better. Let me get close up here. They kind of have that speckled red coloration on the inside, which is really, really cool. I really like that. Um, I think that's really neat looking. So uh, same thing with this one. You can see there's a lot of new healthy growth coming in. You can see kind of at the bottom there, uh, there's one trap there and then another one there at the very base there getting ready to kind of pop up and and emerge. Um, you can see these guys have been doing a lot of eating. Um, there's a lot of dead flies in the traps. Probably not as much as my sawtooth over there. Uh, it, it eats a lot, but uh, these guys you can tell have you know some some flies in the traps. Uh, they've been doing these. It's actually hard to keep these traps open. Um, <laughs> what I've noticed, it's uh, the, the plants are a little more enjoyable when the traps are open. But when you keep them outside in an area where flies are around, it's actually hard to even catch them while the the traps stay open. But uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the DCXL. Let's go ahead and check out the Sawtooth here, which has been by far my more most vigorous grower out of the three. You can see it's hard for me to even get this guy completely in frame. Um, yeah, take a look at that. You can see there's a lot of growth on there. You can see this is the Sawtooth, so it's got the really cool, uh, let me see if I can get that to focus for you, but it's got the really cool kind of Sawtooth style traps. Uh, so they're not, the eyelashes there aren't as big. It looks more like a, a saw which is why they're called sawtooth, but uh, it's a really, really neat Venus fly trap. The traps aren't going to get as big as either of these two um, in the long run, but it, it does have really, really cool and sort of unique shaped traps, and it's growing much more vigorously. This one has way more traps than either of the other ones, and you can see even if you look down here, you can see it's not done either. It's, it's going to be shooting up a lot more um, in the coming months before it goes into dormancy. So this thing is super healthy. It's growing really fast. Uh, you can see it's doing a really good job of eating. Uh, a lot of these traps have flies. You can see that one right there. It's got multiple flies in it um, that it's caught. You can see it's getting toward the end of its lifespan, uh, which is perfectly normal. Um, after they catch a couple of flies, usually they're kind of done. Um, this one here has a couple of flies in it. And this one here at the top, uh, looks like it bit off a little more that it can chew. First of all, this one below it here is actually trying to bite. I'm surprised that one didn't close on me. There we go. 
Um, but you can see this one here, I would say has probably bit off a little more that it can chew. I'm pretty sure that's a wasp in there. Um, that's probably going to result in this trap dying. You can, you can see it's starting to turn black down there a little bit. Um, more than likely that's because this, this uh, insect that it consumed here, which I believe is a wasp. Let's see if we can get a, yeah, you can see it, it looks like a, a probably a, like a yellow jacket. Um, you see the wing is kind of sticking out there, so this didn't get a good seal, but that's what happens when they eat a, an insect that's a little too big for them. Uh, typically, if they can't get a good seal, um, it'll develop some mold and some bacteria, and it'll eventually kind of kill the trap, but uh, that's just part of it. That's that's no big deal. Uh, it happens, um, especially with this one. You're not going to really be able to tell because there's just been so many uh, come through. You see this one's about ready to die too, but it's got a couple of flies that it's already caught in there as well. So, uh, But that's just kind of the name of the game with fly traps. Uh, you can see one dying here at the top with several more coming in at the bottom. Um, pretty normal for, for these traps to die fairly regularly. You can see even on um, this one here, you can see I got some traps at the bottom that are dead and dying. That one there is turning black. So uh, no big deal if you got some, some dead or black traps. Uh, if you notice that all your traps are turning black, definitely more of a, a sign of something probably being wrong. But if you just have a dead or dying trap here and there, no big deal. But yeah, so uh, that's kind of, that's the, the update for these uh, Venus fly traps for you guys, the B-52, the DCXL, and then the uh, UK Sawtooth. Uh, real quick too, before I let you guys go, I just wanted to thank you for being here. I um, appreciate your support, uh, trying to get this carnivorous plant nursery thing up and going. I've um, been doing a lot of research. Uh, my wife and I are actually getting pretty close here to um, getting ready to start selling some, uh, some carnivorous plant soil. Uh, it's going to be kind of a peat mix uh, and we're working on, we're kind of at the beginning process of that. If you're here and you're hearing me say this, there's a good chance that maybe it's already done. So check out the description if you need to buy some soil. I probably have a link in there for you so you can check that out. You can buy it from us. Uh, we make it from our home. So uh, it's kind of special made for everybody. Uh, some things that are coming with the channel. Uh, I'm going to be getting a grow tent here pretty soon. Uh, I've got some, uh, some lights coming in. I just got a Santee light that I'm going to be using to grow some Venus fly traps from seeds. I've had a lot of people kind of request that, uh, so that's going to be coming up here real soon. Um, I'm going to be getting a bunch more Venus fly traps, uh, and I'm going to be putting them in a grow tent along with some other carnivorous plants, probably some sundews and some pings. Uh, I'm doing kind of an experiment with uh, my first grow tent uh, and, a, and a bigger light. Um, that's coming. I should have that light here pretty soon. Uh, and then the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be growing some Venus flytraps under some Yescom lights uh, and I'm going to actually uh, take a, probably a sample size of three to five Venus flytraps and I'm going to see if we can do some dormancy skipping. Uh, and I know everybody's probably getting up in arms right now. They usually do anytime I mention skipping dormancy, but it's kind of more of just a test. Um, I've been talking to some people that have been keeping flytraps for uh, over three years now and, and they're really beautiful fly traps, super healthy and they have not put them through dormancy. Um, so I'm going to be kind of trying to follow their lead a little bit and uh, see um, what we can do. I'll document it. I'll make the videos for you guys so we can argue, debate, um, discuss and all that stuff in the comments. Um, but yeah, so that those are all things that are coming guys. I know I haven't had many videos here but um, I've been really busy. Uh, I've been kind of trying to map out what I want to do here with with my Venus fly traps and my other carnivorous plants and getting the soil thing up and running. And then, uh, but I do have a lot of stuff coming up here in the pipeline. And uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can get updates on all this cool stuff, um, so you don't miss any of the of the updates. Oh, actually, I've got a water distiller that I'm actually using upstairs right now. I'm in the process of testing that, so. I'll be reviewing that up here pretty soon um, so you guys can see that that's been awesome. It's been a lifesaver on um, my distilled water instead of getting it from the grocery store. So that's coming pretty soon. All kinds of stuff coming, guys. Thanks again so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Subscribe, like this video, um, all that fun stuff. And uh, I really hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye.